PeachyDragon.com. Happy creative stuff. Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Creative Stuff. We're just going to do part two of Bubbles here. I always want to say Blossom, but our 3D Power Puff Bubbles here. So let me just rotate around. You can see the scene. I already explained this in the previous video, so I'm not going to go into it again. But what we're going to add is these uh, little pigtails that she has. I think these are positioned wrong. They should probably be closer. Let me just change that to local. Excuse me, I know this is not relevant right now, but I think I should probably just touch. Okay, so this is similar to how we did the, um, the little bow on Blossom's head, but I'm going to show you quickly anyway. I'm going to take my, well, this I want to hide maybe. Let's just, maybe I don't want to, okay, let me not hide it. Let me just apply our modeling material to it and then turn the opacity down so that we can see through it easily and you'll see when you don't have edges selected you can't see it at all it's completely invisible so i need that shape there which is also that shape on the side so let's start with a sphere I'm going to select standard primitive sphere i want the middle of it to point towards the edge of the ponytail that won't happen now anyway so it doesn't matter so much Let's just make it that size. Okay, now if we look in both views, let's just align them up. That's about right. Okay, mm, it's not exactly right, but it's fine. That's a discrepancy between the two images. So we'll take that and we are going to look at that from the top, because the edge is here. I'll convert that to an editable poly. Make sure you've got enough um, verts, I mean enough uh, polygons on it. You don't want too many or too few, but you want it to be quite smooth. So I'll take, I'll select the vert right on the edge. I'm going to select this window. <clears throat> now if I pull that out, that's going to happen. It's not going to give us the effect we want at all. So <clears throat> maybe we should just select the one on the other side anyway, now that I think about it. Let's use our perspective view. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> this is annoying. Okay, there we go. Almost, almost had it. There we go. Oh, that's not the right one. There we go. That's the one we want. So if I pull that out, it won't work. But if I turn on soft selection, once again, just like with bubbles, I'm going to turn it on and then increase the, well, decrease the fall off so it's not ridiculous. Now if I pull that out, you get a pretty gradual kind of pull. <clears throat> and you can look at this to see how far you need it to go. So maybe that fall off, let me think, might still be a little bit too much. Let's turn it down a bit more. That looks about right. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And then turn it down some more. And pull it out a little bit more. And then turn off soft selection and then just pull the tip to give it that edge. Okay, so now that we have that. Let's apply the hair material just so it looks the right color. Okay, now we are done editing the polygon. What we're going to do now is just throw a bend modifier on it. I really love bend modifiers. They are useful for all kinds of things. Okay, so now when I turn up the angle, you can see that it twists in one direction. It might not be the direction we want it to go in. We can rotate that. Maybe I think it should be 90 degrees. Now it's rotating downwards. Should be minus 90. Okay. So you can see that's already starting to look a little bit better. Might not be quite as good as the first one I had, but I'm working on speed now, so we want it to get done slightly faster. So let's give it another bend modifier. I think we can also just... No, that didn't work. I was thinking maybe we could just duplicate it. I'm not sure if you can duplicate them. You can copy and paste, I suppose. There we go, there's another bend modifier. And for this one, you might just want to bend it in a different direction so that we get a bit of motion going there. Okay, let's try something like that. Okay, now if we look at all our views, uh, we want, okay, this is actually where, let's change the direction so that it bends outwards. And then 
ramp up the amount so that we get that look. Okay, and then for this bend, let's do that. Let's change the direction. Turn up the angle. Okay, so you see there's a challenge here to get it to bend enough in both directions. Maybe we'll just turn off one. Get the angle to a decent amount and then just rotate it until we've got the right effect. That angle might be extreme, it doesn't seem very forgiving. Let's do that. Let's see if we adjust the limits, we might uh, limit effect. Okay. Okay, regardless of how you do that, you can play around with the effect. We need it to face the right direction. There we go, that's pretty close. Good enough for now. Let's apply our hair material to that. I'm gonna move this in. I'm gonna select, uh, not local, I'm gonna select world because I want it to move absolutely horizontal. Move in there, duplicate this. Okay, flip it horizontal. Okay, and move it onto the hit there. There, okay, it's not still not touching. We can move this in a bit more. Okay, and there we've got it, our basic hair for bubbles. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to do buttercups hair. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, tell us what you think, click the like button below. Otherwise, you can send us, follow us and send us messages on our Facebook pages. We've got two of them, our Twitter, the Instagram, the YouTube channel, or our traditional websites, if you like that kind of thing. This video is awesome. PeachyDragon.com Happy creative stuff.